are multiple ways we can build this Batman. We can go with like the old school gray kind of Adam West Batman, or we can go with the new school armored up looking badass Batman. And I think we're gonna go with the newer one. Oh, and I just uploaded Deadpool to the workshop. Just search my name. You'll find him. Batman, Batman, Batman. How do we start with you? I think we start with the armor. I'm looking for like a chest plate and cape combo, or maybe for a specific cape. I mean, this one jumps out to me, right? You take this cape, you take the chest armor, you color it black, or I don't want to go black, black. I want to do like dark gray. Cause I, I, why is the cape red? Hello, you shouldn't be red. Why does this game do this to me? This should be gray and the cape should be gray like that. But for some reason I get visual glitches every time I design a unit. I'm gonna remove that for now. And apparently my wobbler is completely, just, just, can you just stand normal? Please, Mr. Wobbler, not like that. Okay, we'll deal with the armor in just a second. Let's get the hero mask, because we're making Batman. So we're going to do the very standard, very typical, same thing, make our little superhero mask like this. And then we're gonna grab the war mask and add that as well, thereby giving him that beautiful white glow. Because again, like I've said in every single video with superheroes so far, nobody wants to show their face. Everybody wants to hide behind their anonymity. Does this mean we add the balaclava like the spider-man balacl oh my god i can't do it. <laughs> i did the wrong spot bala club look this is actually not terrible at all this is actually kind of looking like a batman but batman needs like pointy ears how do we give batman pointy ears um what about cat ears <laughs> Could I hear these go back? <laughs> it looks more like Catman than Batman. <laughs> Let's take this off for now. Let's see if we can find something decent. Um, horns? Horns? There are some horns in the game, like devil's horns. If I make these the correct color, mm, I don't know. It's not very Batman. Is there a style of hair? that can pull off of the Batman. The Tab G Wolverine hair kinda does it. You know what's sad? You know what's really sad? I think we're going with the cat ears. These ones or these ones? These ones? And the, these ones, I think. I, I guess this is how we're gonna do Batman. All right, no more talking about, we gotta get this, uh, this body covered up and turned black as night. So let's go grab our skin tight skin suit that we always grab the Tab G wetsuit because once again, for the 100th time, superheroes like Spandex always have, always will, because they have this beautifully amazing physique. They just want to show it off. They want to show off all their muscles. Need to cover his hands, cover his feet, just, you know, stereotypical superhero kind of stuff. Oh, you know what we need? Well, first we're gonna grab the the will 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 gloves, the gloves we always grab, and call those the right color. But we also need the wrist blades. Remember, remember a video a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. I mentioned that the wrist blades are only ever worn by bad guys, while they're also worn by Batman, who's a vigilante and beats up people. So is he really a good guy? One could argue just how good Batman is. Let's color that black and the late we should probably also color black with a slightly less black edge of the blade there we go and now for some quick little boots boots i need, I need boots boots on this guy did we go with the uh what was it what was the little slick slick shoes that worked great was it the renaissance no it wasn't the renaissance it was uh, uh wild west these ones wild west shoes fantastic and they blend in perfectly now Batman needs a belt. He needs his bright yellow utility belt. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's a, a farmer's, this one right here. And it's yellow, even in the modern take, with all the body armor, it's still yellow. So we're gonna take it, go into the yellows, and I'm gonna go a bit of a darker yellow color. That's really bright. This is the belt part black. There we go. Yes, right there. That's fantastic. I mean, if it was all yellow, we did a bit too much, but the black helps a lot to make that Batman look. Okay, the body armor part I'm having a hard time with. Let's try and find the right cape. 
Why don't you just type in, can I type in cape and find a good cape? I need something that screams Batman. Just the most Batman of Batman capes that, is that a bat? Is that a literal bat on the, that is. You know, you know, we take the red, right? And we color it black and we take the red and we color it black and we take this and we color it yellow. <laughs> I mean, Batman has never worn a cape with a clasp like that, but that's not terrible. <laughs> it kind of works. We'll hold on it for now. He needs his body armor. We, we got to beef this guy out because we are talking about the modern Batman. So my first instinct with the body armor was the Roman chest plate, right? Which isn't bad. But what if I went down to the military? Where, where, where are those military armors? I know they're here somewhere. Here we are. The military armors. Do any of these work? I kind of like this one because this one worked really good for Iron Man. Can I take this and color it in the right colors to help? It kind of does, but then it covers the belt. We can't cover the belt. How dare we cover the utility belt? And the, the cape's kind of small. That's a downside of this cute little cape concept. That is, that's a tiny, tiny cape. All right, remove the tab G vest. Let's go grab that, that centurion chest plate with a centurion cape again, and let's color it so it works. See, black cape. That is a double cape. Why is that clasp? What is a double cape? Ah, the clasp. Oh, it's difficult. Oh, it's a, why is a cape red? Why do you do that? This game hates me. It won't let me do the simplest things. I'm gonna make this yellow i'm gonna make it i'm gonna make it like blue oh look it can be blue it can be blue no problem and the chest color is also wrong and then the cape is longer blue is now red and it's blue and it's red and it's blue it's it's blue it's red it just changes color all the time it never ends it never it can't decide it can't make up its mind i know that if we go to test the unit the color is perfect so okay hold on hold on can I pause time? I love the yellow clasp around the neck, but it's not Batman. And now Batman has two capes and that's just weird. Ah, uh, take off the stupid cape. This Batman needs some leg armor. I mean, we have pictures of Batman, of the more newer modern Batman, and it's got some vicious leg armor. It even has shoulder armor. So let's see if we can do that and give him a little more beef, a little more. Mm. That that's That's code for beef. <laughs> and strength that that man grunt shoulder armor we use these on iron man they looked really good on iron man so if we're gonna do that here for the batman yep a little bit more shoulder beef a little more mm, as we uh worded it before and now the legs there's only really one option for legs and that would be the medieval plates other than that there's no there's no leg armor first where, where am i going medieval there it is thick thigh plates give them a little more thickness on the legs even though those are great those should be black there we go a little more thickness in the legs what about boots i mean in in these modern images he's got some pretty nice looking boots so maybe we skip we dodge the wild west shoes and we go and get him some real boots i mean we could do the medieval boots right i love these things they look phenomenal they are phenomenal they really give him that more of an armored feel and, and his feet are poking through. Maybe I'll go and grab those Western shoes still. Okay, maybe we'll grab those Wild West shoes as well, just to help cover up those feet a little bit more. I can still see red in his feet. That's annoying. Aside from the cape being red, the Batman look is coming along. Does he need gloves aside from the Wilhelm gloves? Because his hands look kind of unarmored. If I remove the willy 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 gloves and I put on some better gloves and like armored gloves or I take the renaissance hand guards and I continue with the armored look and still add the silly little willy will gloves right just to cover the hands and make those go the correct color that gives them a little bit more armored look down there see see that layered hand look that's what I was going for because he's wearing battle gloves combat gloves in the pictures so that gives them a bit more length, a bit more texture to the hands more of a combat look and the cape is driving me up the wall it's not supposed to look like that it's supposed to look like not even that because that's the wrong color too it's supposed to look more like this if there was some way to give him the yellow batman symbol right there on the chest i think we'd nail this now 
there is something to be said about the fact that in the pictures for Batman, you can see his chin, right? You can see the bat chin. Do we remove the Tab G wetsuit? Do we remove the balaclava? Do we rework this entire thing one more time? I think we will. So instead of the wetsuit, we're going to do the uh, skeleton outfit, which can still function as the wetsuit did, but leave his face uncovered. Now we gotta cover the top of his head so he's not looking like Catman and looking more like Batman. Big difference. Huh. This knighthood is not bad. It's a bit of a weird shape, but it does kind of what I wanted to do by keeping the face exposed. I mean, when we look at the unit, everything's not bad. His chin's there. You can see it, the yellow belt. It's all there. It's not terrible, but I'm not 100% sold on it. It really needs the symbol. Though. We're never going to get the symbol. Not in this game. No, the balaclava, it doesn't look right. The, the, you need the chin. You, Batman's got all the chin on the planet. He's maximum chin you've got to have it oh, i did it i made the cape black okay okay i fixed the bug i don't know how i did it but the cape is properly black this looks pretty good i found a shirt that peeks through just a little bit and it's interesting because i can almost pull off the middle yellow symbol with it but it's not quite there but it's really close like it, like if i could just Remove the top part to yellow and keep that center a little bit. That would be okay. I'm hoping to find a shirt that can clip perfectly. Oh, the Egyptian necklace clips fairly nicely to give the Batman symbol to the chest. Like, I, I don't know what else in this entire inventory that can get remotely close to the center Batman symbol. Nothing. Nothing gets even in the ballpark. But this one's kind of close. It might be the contender. Well guys, I have been through every single item in the game for the chest and nothing clips quite right to pull it off. So I'm leaning towards the Egyptian necklace to represent our Batman symbol. This is close as we're gonna get in totally accurate battle simulator to pull it off. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the visual appearance of our Batman. Comment down below and let me know and give me a rating out of 10 to tell me how close we game. Keeping in mind, this is tabs and we don't have access to everything. Now for the weapons. I think in the one hand, we're gonna go with a ninja star because the ninja star will be kind of like a batarang. Oh, it's a shuriken throw, my bad. Sensei shuriken throw? I like that one better. And how, how much that throw? That's pretty good. Even Batman just got shot. Don't my Batman. <laughs> He's gone, bye. In the other hand, let's see what Batman can do. He's got a bunch. He's got the grappling hook and aside from that he doesn't have a gun so what if i do an apple throw but remove the apple and replace it with a harpoon we don't want to do the peasant hand harpoon because that fires a hundred million billion harpoons we just want to do the batman harpoon just a single no i don't want i don't want him to physically hold the harpoon but i want him to shoot it so that's that's not gonna work we will go with this for the time being now for the attacks he needs to be really good in melee combat so we're gonna give him all sorts of melee combat abilities the jester kick we're gonna give him the pirate kick the red jade kick he's just gonna kick all the things the taekwondo kick jester dodge remove taekwondo kick add a shogun dodge stats will give him some hp size will be fine weight we're gonna give him a lot of weight i don't want to be knocked around too much movement speed is fine attack speed is fine damage a little bit higher here he is ladies and gentlemen in all of his glory the batman and he's ready to throw down now it's time for batman versus naruto Oh, it seemed like Naruto just beat Batman. <laughs> this time it's Batman with no harpoons versus Deadpool.
take this wobbler and turn him into Spider-Man, complete with webs and everything. And you may be thinking to yourself, Mr. Crowjack, are you insane? How on earth can he shoot webs? There's no webs and tabs. Oh, you think so, do you? First things first, we need to get the visual appearance of Spider-Man. And that actually might prove to be the, the biggest challenge. I'm looking for a suit, something that I can like use to separate the blue and the red of Spider-Man. Preferably a skin tight suit, that'd be great. A fair outfit kind of separates the blue and the red. I mean, you can picture the middle being the red and then the outside being the blue. The dino outfit. <laughs> but if we choose that, we'll give him a tail. You know, this, this might do the job. If we take the Tab G web suit and we make this part red, it has to be red. And we're talking like a solid bright red, right? And then the outside is the blue it has to be a really good blue like a, a solid you know spider-man blue and the silver bit also has to be spider-man blue okay we're on to something this is the beginnings of our <laughs> of our spider-man now we need gloves we gotta cover up those uh those hands with some lovely red where am i gonna find some red gloves they can't be too bulky they gotta be kind of like streamlined well like tiny tiny oh wait we've done this before we've done this in the uh the among us video these gloves here are perfect and when you get the right color boom we've got spider-man with a pretty decent booty i gotta say spidey 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 looking pretty good i gotta do the same thing to your feet you need boots wait it was um 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 there was a specific shoe that worked really good for the among us video and it was the wild west shoes yes the wild west shoes looked really really good they're not too bulky they're fantastic you take it you grab the red you cover it in the correct tone of red and voila we got a ways to go we gotta find something to do with his face because if you look look at his eyes i mean you gotta cover him up we need a mask of sorts is there even a mask in this game hey look it's spider-man get it because his face is a spider catterman no i could use one of these but i can't change the color of them so those aren't gonna work though the smiley face is really creepy i need a mask a regular like a, a ballroom party kind of mask thing something to cover his eyes clown face no <laughs> hideous man i'm not seeing what i have in my mind what i have in my vision just this perfect concept of a mask these goggles aren't bad and i don't know if we take them and color them black is that gonna do the job uh, not quite this could help this could help the the balaclava could definitely help we take the balaclava we color it the red this will definitely assist in covering up his face but we gotta do something about his eyes oh tab g hero mask tab g hero mask here it is this oh guys yes we're, we're on to we're on to something we're kind of finding the spider-man look i mean oh can i change where this is the band can i change that back to red is that gonna help oh we're on to something but you can still see his eyeballs that's that's wrong how do we fix that what can we do to his oh wait hold on the uh, the, the, the 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 peasant's eyes either the super peasant or the dark peasant one of those might be able to do what we want legacy we can do there look like Spider-Man eyes. That's fantastic. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's really good. Spider-Man is coming along nicely, but something's something's missing. I can't quite put my finger on it. Let me just go over here and grab a picture of Spider-Man. So the webbing across his body, we can't quite do, but he has a, a spider emblem, a black spider emblem on his chest. We need something to kind of like maybe closely do that. Or else he just looks like a dude in pajamas. <laughs> Yo. No, we can't do that. Um, you know, if we take this and we just make it black, that's not bad. I mean, it's not it's not a Spider-Man symbol, but it kind of looks like it. You know what's missing? Pants. He is he, supposed to be blue in the bottom half. That's what's throwing me off right now. I'm staring at this for like 10 minutes going, something's missing. Something's wrong. Something's missing. He's blue pants. You know, if I do something like this, that's not bad because it still gives him the red boots, right? Take this, turn it blue, and that gives him the blue shorts while maintaining the red boots. Now we're starting to look a little bit more like Spider-Man. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think we can make this unit look more like Spider-Man 
if we try it. What do you guys think? Comment down below. And now for the fun part. This, guys, right here is how we're going to do the webbing. Let's go with the dark peasant throw. You're thinking to yourself, Mr. Crowjack, he doesn't have dark peasant hands. You're right. He doesn't have dark peasant hands. What we can do is change the projectile all the way down to what we'll substitute as our webbing here in tabs. And that's going to be the lasso. Wait until you see what these things do. Now we're going to add his special abilities. He's jumpy, he's nimble, and he's got some dodge capabilities. We're going to find some dodging. I think he's going to dodge projectiles like a madman. He needs a kick of sorts. So I'm thinking we give him the jester kick. He needs to jump into battle. Do we give him the monkey king jump? If we do that, he, he gets a monkey king tail. And that's just completely wrong. <laughs> Halfling jump's not good enough. I think we give him the super jump from the, the berserker. Give him a charge. And he needs another dodge. I'm thinking a chogan dodge. Now for the stats. 100 HP. Let's give him 10,000 HP. He's, he's killable. He's more than killable. I mean, it's Spider-Man, but he's got a lot of HP. Size is fine. Weight is fine. Speed is is fine attack speed i don't want to increase this too too much i wanted to have a more realistic fighting style but the damage i wanted to be fairly strong so we're giving him a times 10. now let's take a picture of our lovely spider man <laughs> it looks ridiculous actually the, the icon looks legit i'm not gonna lie take a look at spider-man i think he looks really good i think he did a very good job recreating our webbed hero here in totally accurate battle simulator like that's legit points you know what i mean points for making them look as good as we have now to see how well this guy fights i'm very curious for our first fight we have spider-man here on the rooftops versus our thugs down below will spider-man be able to apprehend the enemies or will the enemies cut him down we're gonna find out in three two one go spider-man jumps off the roof look at that and look at the web the lasso ability that dark peasant hands fire out so many lassos and now he has roped them all up and apprehended every single enemy he can dodge angel little spider-man he's kind of he's kind of uh kind of how do i word this without saying the word i want to say he's kind of sassy if you watch the way he fights he kind of dodges and, and taunts the way Spider-Man really does. Also like that when he flops around, he pulls all the units with him. Look at that jump <laughs> in the back end. He's putting his butt in the nice face. That's Spider-Man. Sassy, taunting, funny. The charge, the dodge, the... Hey, Spidey. Spidey, jump off the ground. Um, hey, you have a job to do, okay? You need to save the people. <laughs> the webbing comes out. Look at that. That is so good. Spidey, you're okay. They're fine. <laughs> Can, if I take control of them, can I, can I pull Spidey? No, it's fine. Spidey, you can't. I have nothing. He's, um, this is, um, a very unfortunate situation. <laughs> Spider-Man is surrounded. Berserkers on every side. I just want to see what happens. We have all these leaping agile units. The lassos come out, the webbing. I bet you if we increase the attack speed. Oh, no. He's pulling the berserkers with him. The Berserker Jump, chaining into the Berserker Jump, is doing a crazy job. There's the lassos. I love it. We've done such a good job with Spider-Man, guys. It's fantastic. He's so good. A bit of a harder challenge for Spider-Man. Some melee units, some ranged units, and then some ballistas. There's the lassos. I'm hoping Spider-Man doesn't get pulled into the pit. Oh, Spider-Man. I love you so much. You're such a wonderful unit, but now you're falling your death i would love to see spider-man have some kind of a wall climb ability or if a wall climb ability even existed in this game goodbye 